And now, let's hear from the next governor of the state of California, Phil Angelides. Thank you all very much. Good morning. Good morning to each and every one of you, and thank uh, you to Judy Chu. I'm very much looking forward to working with Judy. Uh, as you know, she won the Democratic nomination for the Board of Equalization, and I'm looking forward to working with her for the next eight years. And to uh, everyone else who's joined me uh, today on this podium, I thank you for being with me. As Judy said, as the others said, the strength of this state lies in its diversity. We are the richest state and the wealthiest nation in human history. And we enter the 21st century also as the most multicultural, diverse society on Earth. The California dream is that everyone will have a chance to participate and everyone will have a chance to climb the ladder of opportunity. This is a state that will be the greatest in the 21st century if we ensure that all across the board, in our economy, in our judicial system, in the halls of political leadership, we reflect the diversity of California. This is something I feel deeply, like the other people who are here with me today. I am the son and grandson of immigrants. My grandparents came here at the turn of the last century. They worked night and day. They never spoke English, but they had a dream that my father would go to college. My mother came here as an immigrant. Like my grandparents before them, my parents sacrificed so I would have more chances. The story of California is people coming here from all over this globe, from Europe, from Asia, from Central and South America, from Mexico, coming here to forge the strongest society in history. Elemental to our success in the 21st century is not just to celebrate this diversity, but to honor it and to make sure in the leadership of the state, in the halls of justice, sitting as judges, we have the diversity of California. It's a matter of what's fair. It's a matter of what's right. It's a matter of what's best for California. Right. Now, I'm proud that in my tenure as treasurer, I've worked to open the doors of financial opportunity to the diversity of California. At our pension funds, we've forged partnerships with African-American business leaders and Latino business leaders and Asian American business leaders. And we've done it because it has enabled us to take advantage of the diversity of California's economy. But we've also done it because we've been able to take advantage of the emerging talent that exists in this state, of very talented Latinos and Latinas and African Americans and Asians who have the same talents, the same skills, the same education as anyone else in this state. We've proven that we can prosper by taking advantage of this emerging talent in California. And we need to do that when it comes to appointing people to the bench. Now, our recent history in California is we have been more and more successful at achieving diversity in judicial appointments. But Governor Schwarzenegger has sent us back. From Pete Wilson to Gray Davis, we saw more and more people of talent from the diverse communities of California appointed to the bench. But as Judy Chu said, under Arnold Schwarzenegger, we've gone backwards. Only 17% of the judicial appointments made by this governor are people of color. It's inexcusable, it's unacceptable, it's not right for California. Now, one of the governor's aides said that they were having trouble finding qualified Latinos and African Americans and Asians. Shame on the governor and his staff. This nation state of 37 million people has many people of talent. That's right. And a governor needs to reach out. And I pledge to you that when I become governor of this state, I'm going to appoint an appointment secretary who will reach far and wide and find the people of greatest talent that reflect the diversity of California. Yes. Bill Clinton, when he became president of the United States, said he wanted a cabinet that was reflective of the diversity of America. And I assure you today that when I take office in January of 2007, we're going to continue our march to a quality of opportunity, to a judiciary judges that represent the diversity of California. Right. I'm going to turn away from the Schwarzenegger record of patronage on the bench. 
you know, instead of appointing James Rogan, the impeachment manager for Bill Clinton, as a political favor to the bench, he should have reached out and found the most talented Latina lawyer, the most talented young African-American lawyer who could serve justice well in this state. Thank you for being here together come January. We will once again begin the March to Progress, and we will have a judiciary that represents California. Thank you so much.